Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Are you getting bored with the default nav log in Microsoft Flight Sim and wish there was something better? Well, now there is. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. In today's video, we're going to go over an awesome application called Flight Log Analyzer. Now this application has completely reimagined and redesigned what the flight log should be for Microsoft Flight Sim. In today's video, I will first showcase the application, going over some of its features. We will then go over to the developer's website, go over the cost breakdown for the product. Now, don't jump off the video just yet when I say cost, because this is a very inexpensive add-on. With that being said, if you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments and I'll get right back with you. If you enjoyed today's video and found it useful, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. All right, so I first want to say that this application has come a long way since its inception. They've just added a bunch of new features to it with the graphs at the bottom, as well as some of the other options that are available inside the application. All of those will be in the change log section on the developer's website, which I'll show you here in a moment. In the top left hand corner, we have some display modifiers, which you can choose for your liking. If we take a look at some notes just below that, we can right click on any of the columns that we have down here below, and we can add or remove any of the options or information that we would like to be displayed. We also have the ability to move around these columns so that we can organize this any way we would like. Now, if we go to the bottom here and grab on the scroll bar and start scrolling over, you can see just how much information we have available for each of our flights. If we head back to the top, we have a group analysis and summary option. If we tick on this, we can group all of our flights by individual manufacturers, any of these options that we have over here on the dropdown. At the very bottom, we have several charts and graphs that they have recently added. These graphs can also be changed by right clicking on any of them, and now we can change any of the chart types that we have here below. Now if we go back to the top where we have all of our flights listed, if we right click on any of the flights, it will bring up another menu box. In this box, we can see the flight profile, we can also choose to see the flight on a built-in viewer that the application has. Now the built-in viewer is cool, but we also have an option to export this as a KML and we can view this on Google Earth. This is where it gets really interesting. So let me show you how we can do that. Before we jump over to the Google Earth webpage, Note that there are two different ways in which we can display Google Earth. We can either use Google Earth as a web page or we can download the application on our PC. If you're going to be using Google Earth as a web page, we must first export our flight plan so that we can import it on our web page. If you decide to download Google Earth for your desktop, then you do not need to export your flight. What you would do then is go up to Flight Map, and the Google Earth viewer will be shown right here. But for today's demonstration, we're going to use the Google Earth website for this. So because of that, we need to export our flight. We're going to left click on that. We also need to make sure that we export this as a KML file. We also have a couple options to the right on how we want to export this. So if you just want basic flight information exported, you would just tick on either of these two. But we want as detailed as we can, so we're gonna leave those unchecked and then hit export. All the links for today's video will be down below in the description, so be sure to check that out. When you click on the link below, it'll bring you up on this web page. From here, we can either open the Google Earth web page from here, or we can choose to download Google Earth for your desktop. Let me show you how this will work real quick, so we just click there. That will bring us to the Google Earth download page. We're just going to scroll all the way down, and here we can download Google Earth Pro for your desktop. But like I said, for today's demonstration, we're going to be using the web-based version instead. So for that, we can just click on Open Google Earth at the very top. 
Once you're here, we can go over to new, left click that, go down to local KML file, and then click import. Click on the file we want to import, click open. And now as you can see, we have a very detailed view of our flight in 3D. This is a really cool feature to have if you like looking at this type of information. All right, so now that we have gone over a basic overview of this application, let's head over to the website. On the main page, this will give us some of the key features that the application has. Most of this we went over just a little while ago. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, here's where we can download a free trial version of the application. And you have 15 days to try this out and see if it's something worth it for you or not, which I think is really cool of the developer to do that. Now below this, we have a click to unlock the extended features of the Flight Log Analyzer. As you can see, for the free version, the 15-day version, you will have access to pretty much everything, except for a couple options down here below. In my opinion, the standard version is pretty much all I would ever use. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, here's where the pricing will be listed. For the standard license would be $12, the pro license is $18. If you decide you would like to purchase the application, as long as you do it before March 31st of 2024, you can use my promo code 2020FSers to get 10% off of any of the license that they have available below. So just for contrast, if you purchase the standard license at $12 and you take 10% off of that, you will get this for $10.80. If we head back to the top and go over to the change log tab, we can see just how many updates that the developer has done since the application's inception. And I must say, there is a lot of updates here. All right, that's it for today's video. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any comments or questions, post them down below in the comments section. If you haven't done so, make sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.